the 2016 Mercedes GLE Coupe 850 by Brabus. The 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe hasn't been the best received of vehicles. It's another of those vehicles that tries so hard to fit into so many different niches that it doesn't get any of them quite right. But Brabus knows that people will be willing to overlook a lot in the name of insane amounts of power, and if anyone can crank that kind of power out of the GLE Coupe, it is definitely Brabus. The new creation is given the name 850, the same as several other Brabus creations that are based off of 63 badged Mercedes products. What makes the GLE Coupe 850 different from the other Brabus 850 products is that the base vehicle isn't an AMG, as there is no AMG version of the GLE Coupe, at least not yet. The GLE 63S still uses the same engine as 63 badged AMG products, and it still costs nearly twice as much as the base model, but it isn't quite as visually attention-grabbing as an AMG. So the GLE Coupe 850 might come as more of a shock than other 850 models. And yet, for all of the shocking craziness of the exterior, it is a surprisingly refined and civilized cabin. Continue reading to learn more about the Mercedes GLE Coupe 850 by Brabus. Exterior This might be our first look at a Brabus take on the GLE Coupe, but fans of the Mercedes tuner will already be familiar with such touches as the blacked-out grille and the replacing of all of the Mercedes badges with Brabus's B logo. Carbon fiber accents are used on the exterior, and there is a new rear diffuser and a redesigned front fascia. The GLE has air suspension, so Brabus only needed to install a new control module in order to lower the ride height by 1.4 inches. Probably a good idea for a beast like this, as it lowers the center of gravity and improves handling. A variety of wheels are offered, in 21, 22, and 23 inches. The photos show the 23-inch wheels. It's not a terribly subtle look, but nothing about the rest of the exterior would suggest that this was Brabus's goal. Interior The work to the interior has been extensive, but Brabus hasn't gone so far as to change the layout, as Mercedes-Benz has already done a commendable job on that. Instead, what Brabus offers is a long list of options for new materials. These allow you upgrade to higher quality materials like Alcantara or Mastic, a new sort of highly breathable leather. This new upholstery is available in a much wider variety of colors than the original version from Mercedes, and Brabus will cover the seats, dash and headliner as part of the standard package for the car. Other options include illuminated kick plates, new pedals and a new steering wheel, although this isn't pictured. In fact, the pictures of the interior are generally pretty restrained, but Brabus is always happy to make it even more posh if you're willing to spend the money. Drivetrain Just take a peek under the hood of the 850 and it is immediately obvious that the changes have been extensive, although you still might not appreciate the full scope. The engine starts off as the same twin-turbo 5.5-liter V8 used in all 63 badged Mercedes products. It is then bored out to 6.0 liters and given a billet crank and forged rods and pistons. Power is thereby pushed up to 850 horsepower and an awesomely excessive 1,069 pound-feet of torque. Bigger turbos have been fitted, and these now draw air from a duct in the hood. Power is thereby pushed up to 850 horsepower and an awesomely excessive 1,069 pound-feet of torque. It's the same treatment given to other Brabus 850 models, but while these usually have torque limited to 848 pounds-feet for the sake of the drivetrain, there is no mention of this with the GLE Coupe 850. There is a completely new exhaust system, which should come as no surprise. The system is stainless steel, and has an adjustable noise level so that you can turn it down when near your home, so as not to annoy your neighbors, and turn it up when you're looking to impress your friends. All of this combines to make the sizable and heavy SUV sprint to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and onto a top speed of 200 miles per hour. This top speed could have been higher, but Brabus has had to limit it due to tire restrictions. Drivetrain specifications. Prices. 
The 850 is listed for €289,218.79 That's an awfully high and weirdly specific number, but we are talking about a definitive tuner car that started out as a $110,000 vehicle, so there was no way it would be cheap. The price is roughly in keeping with the price of the E63 AMG 850, a sedan version of what is otherwise essentially the same vehicle. It is a hell of a lot of money for what it is, but this is generally true of all top shelf tuner cars, and if you want an 850 horsepower GLE coupe, it's not as though there are a lot of cheaper options out there. Competition 2012 Hennessy HPE 800 Jeep SRT8 there are any number of tuner SUVs out there, but if you want an SUV that puts out anywhere near the kind of bonkers power figures as the Brabus, you're going to have to look to the Hennessy HPE 800, an 800 horsepower version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. At $235,000, it comes in at the price of a small house less than the Brabus and will hit 60 miles per hour in just 3.1 seconds, certainly quicker than the Brabus. The interior isn't as nice as the Brabus's, but if you just want to go fast in an SUV, this is a less expensive choice. You can read our full review here. Conclusion The GLE Coupe 850 illustrates both what is great about tuner cars and also their biggest drawback. On the one hand, it's great that a company like Brabus exists to take your ordinary if we're going to use that word in connection with a $110,000 Mercedes-Benz SUV and offers you levels of performance and customization far, far beyond what is possible through the manufacturer. It makes for a more special and far more impressive vehicle, and that cannot be denied. But then you have to consider that also triples the price, and that it very difficult to ignore. Even among the sorts of people that can spend this sort of money easily, this is going to be a difficult purchase to justify. Love it the kind of power that you can use to tow ocean liners Brabus makes the best Mercedes interiors this side of Maybach a serious tuner car, not just some overpriced body kit. Leave it the price is just as insane as the rest of it for all of the changes, the GLE coupe isn't that attractive to begin with not at all subtle, the cops will exactly what you're getting up to. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.